Hey guys, Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. I have gotten really serious about pistol testing lately. I just published my first story with the Ransom International Ransom Rest, comparing two different revolvers, two different types of loads. You're gonna wanna check that story out. One thing I didn't include that I did want to was chronograph data. Now, I don't currently have a good chronograph or I haven't had a good chronograph that's been good. Easy to set up, easy to put in front of a pistol and get data from the chronograph into Excel. That's my ultimate goal. I went on a little bit of a research rampage and decided to try the Caldwell G2 chronograph. This is an interesting design. It's inverted. It's got its own LED illumination. Shouldn't have troubles with ambient lighting conditions like a lot of the other optical chronographs do. It also has a free companion app. It has Bluetooth connectivity. So my hopes are that I can use this in my pistol testing. It'll beam the data over to my phone. I can take it from the phone, enter it into Excel or into Google Sheets and quickly do ballistics analysis on it. So in this video, I'm gonna unbox the unit, I'm gonna get it set up, and I'm gonna give you a quick demo, and then I'll follow that up with stories related to in-depth pistol testing and evaluation. So let's get into it and get this box open. Haven't had a look yet, so you guys will see this with me. Oh, cool, it's got a bag. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna put the box aside here. Okay. I do like this because I take my gear all over the property to do testing and evaluation in different places. Okay, looks like the frame, the instructions. We've got the light panel, additional part of the frame here. The tripod does come with the tripod, which is nice. Another light panel, power adapter. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, like usual, I know, it's kinda crazy, I'm gonna take a few moments to read the instruction booklet, and then I will show you all what it takes to put this together, and we'll use it. Okay, so I read the instructions. Assembly turns out to be really straightforward. You've got this base frame here. This is the bottom that's gonna to attach to your tripod and hold the chronograph in position. You just take this uh, screen on each side and you kind of pop the rods through some holes there. You gotta twist it a little bit so you can push them in. Then you flip these arms up. The arms have the wires for the LED strips and you're just gonna line up these black plastic tabs into the sockets. And this is simple and straightforward because this is what you do in the field if you bring this to the range in the bag, is you're, you're gonna set it up like this. Then you just plug in these jacks that connect the wires for the LED strips to the chronograph unit. I've got my micro USB power adapter plug it into power. I like the fact that it's micro USB because you can have a phone charger or some other aux battery on hand to charge it. But a charge lasts 12 hours. So I'll show you on the front here. You just plug the micro USB cable into a little socket there and you'll see an LED start to blink. You can then turn on the unit, pull down the power button, and then there's a little light button here, hold that down, and you've got your illumination. The illumination comes up from the bottom with the light kit here, and when the bullet passes over, it's gonna see the shadow from that light as it crosses each of the two sensors. So, very simple and straightforward to set up, and it's meant to be that way. You can collapse it in just a minute, throw it in the bag, there's a spot for the tripod here in the bag, and you're ready to go to the range. So let's take this and do some shooting with it. So for my first rounds of testing, I thought I would test both a handgun and a rifle. So I've got a Glock 20 here with Lone Wolf, 40 Smith & Wesson drop-in barrel, and I've also got an AR-15 chambered in 300 blackout. So I've got 40 Smith & Wesson hand loads and 300 blackout subsonic loads that we'll put through the G2 chronograph. And to get the G2 ready to use, we just hold down the power button, and that's gonna cause kind of a startup sequence to start here, 
it goes through a countdown and then it's going to show us kind of a bracketed shooting window showing us that it's ready. Okay, so it is. And then we're just going to hold the light button down for a second and that's going to turn on the underneath illumination. So the chronograph is now completely ready to go. Now I fire up the Caldwell ballistic app on my phone. Now I've already downloaded and installed this. It's available for iOS and Android. You've got to go in the settings and enable Bluetooth. Once you do that, it will automatically find the chronograph if the chronograph is on. So here we can go into new group. We can name the group. When we hit start, it'll start recording shots. When we hit stop, it's gonna uh, enable us to save that group. So let me show you shooting two strings with groups on the Caldwell Ballistic app, starting with the 40 Smith & Wesson. So there you go, a quick demo of the Caldwell G2 chronograph in action. I feel like now that I've shot a handgun and a rifle with this chronograph, I've connected the app, I've kind of put it through its basic paces and overall I really like how it's put together, its features and its functionality. The included instructions really leave nothing to the imagination. They cover setting up and using the chronograph, downloading, installing, and connecting the connected app, which has worked 100% so far for me. Make sure Bluetooth is turned on. You've got the app running. You start up the chronograph. It automatically connects. I've never had a chronograph with that type of connectivity. I've had a logging chronograph, the magneto speed, where you log the data to an SD card and you take the SD card out, you take it over to the computer, that works fine. But for this, I'm really glad that I have the Bluetooth companion app so that I can text or email myself the groups, all of the related chronograph data, copy from the email or text, paste right into Google Sheets or Excel, do some graphing, whatever I need to do. Should work really well in this indoor outdoor range in front of the ransom rest. I like the fact that it's got uh, a bag for transport. Really the only downside that I see so far, and this is consistent with some of the reviews that I've read, is that the supplied tripod is kind of light duty. If you're out in the wind, if you're out in rough terrain, you're going to want something a little bit more sturdy. And I carry a bunch of photography tripods with quick release Manfrotto plates on them, so that's what I intend to use when I'm out in the field with this chronograph. Everything else seems to work so far really well. I did wonder when I shot my 300 blackout, I had some high SD numbers and I thought, ah, oh, I better cross check this. So I attached the Magneto Speed V3. I recorded a string of five shots with the same ammo and the data was very close. I'll include that in the full write-up if you click on that first link in the video description. So, so far so good with the G2. I will keep you all posted. You're gonna see this in more stories. What do you think of this chronograph. Do you have one? Please share your experiences. Please share your thoughts and your reflections. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to GavinTube with notifications. You don't want to miss any of this metalworking, gunsmithing, shooting, reloading, ballistics. We're going crazy this year. Also, you can support me on Patreon. You can get one of these cool Ultimate Reloader shirts at the Ultimate Reloader store. You'll find those links in the video description. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.